right guys i'm about to harvest melons today and i'm gonna start off with these watermelons guys the vines are just looking so bad and i don't want any of my melons to get diseased as you can see it's looking very bad okay so i have three melons on here i do have my scale here um so i'm gonna go ahead and do the biggest one i think it's the biggest one out of them and let me pull oh, let me pull him down here with the other one if I can okay move that all right so the reason why I'm gonna go ahead and pull it as y'all seen on a short I did where this part was starting to get um, soft and everything it's not soft yet but y'all see all that blackness the tendril has dried up now it's completely dried up both well it got a little bit of green but i think it'll be okay but the black um like moldy i don't know what that is on these leaves so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this one so i want to show y'all i'm clipping it y'all see me clipping it it is declipped or, or divined. And I'm going to put it right here on this little scale. <laughs> now, let me see what the scale is saying. Oh. oh, okay. Let me let it go to make sure. But it looked like it's saying five pound, which is awesome. I've never grew anything big yep it's right on that dot let me show you what the dot is see the five can y'all see that hopefully y'all can it's not the world's biggest watermelon no but i was in this and that was the main thing i wanted to be in the watermelon wars and hey i did a watermelon and yes this watermelon is five pounds it's not 15 20 30 but but best believe next year um i'm gonna get a different kind i think the jubilee is better than this charleston gray uh this thing is heavy <laughs> so this one is five pounds this is my biggest one um putting in my harvest basket look at that my mom and my kids will be happy and my grandbaby now i have two other ones now I know these were going to be smaller and this tendril is not all the way completely done with this but like I said I'm going to take all of this down today y'all this is getting all taken down let me see okay this one is three pounds three pounds okay so five six seven eight pounds watermelon and I have one down up in there. Um, that I gotta go past the wasps and everything to get. So let's reach down here, y'all. <laughs> and gnats and mosquitoes and everything. Let's clip it. Whoops, come here. Oh, it would fall down there. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got this one looks pretty good and put it on the scale oh it's two pounds <laughs> eight let's see eight nine ten ten pounds of watermelon i think that's pretty good what y'all think for my first time doing the watermelon wars i'm putting in uh my biggest one that is five pounds <laughs> this is definitely not texas size but I did it, y'all. I did it. I was part of the watermelon wars. I'm excited. All right, we're gonna open and cut them in a little bit. I need to get over here to this honeydew, which I didn't see anybody doing honeydew. So, okay, let's check it out. My honeydew, let's see, all the little tendrils around it that one's dried up that one dried 
I'm going to say this honeydew is ready because of this it's dried up. It looks bad. All right. So yeah, I'm going to go and weigh my my sweet honeydew. Oh, nothing better than I've been trying to climb up in there. Okay. Look at that. All righty. Go take it back over to the scale. I'm thinking two pounds. About two pounds. All right. Okay. One and a half pound. <laughs> One and a half pound honeydew. But it's a honeydew. And it's gonna go with the Mill and family today. And uh when I take y'all when I take them in, I'll slice them up and uh have them for my family. Alright guys, this is what I'm I want to harvest my melons and when you see this next time this will be gone all this watermelon stuff out of here so i can get to that wonderful soil down here all these bees and wasps can find them somewhere else to play and frolic <laughs> this is going to be cleaned out all right guys i'm going to start off with the big one first yep start off with the big one first um i guess i'll cut this little end off as first cut it this way mm. don't look like it's all the way done i don't know let me stop judging it stop judging it cynthia <laughs> well it did crack And it could be because it's hot too. Um, I'm gonna go across it. It is definitely splitting. Oh, it don't look bad, y'all. All right. There it go. Do a cross section of it. Now, as y'all know, I don't like watermelon. My kids do, my mom does. Like I said, I don't like watermelon. My family does. I used to like watermelon when I was a kid, y'all. Ate it all the time. And then, to, I just, I can smell it now. <laughs> but, I grew this. I don't think it's gonna make a difference if I grew it, grew it or not. It's just my not my thing. It smells like watermelon. Okay, I'm gonna taste test it as just you know for the features of it, not for. Okay, I'm just gonna taste it. <sighs> okay, Charleston Gray watermelon taste test. It has seeds in it, y'all. It's a real thing. It's the real thing. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. I know. People saying, well, you ain't say it's not good. I mean, you ain't say it's good. Um, it tastes like a watermelon. I don't eat watermelon because it do taste a little different. Maybe because I grew it. <laughs> but no, I still don't like watermelon. But it's good. It's good. If you like watermelon, my kids will like it. My mom and them will like it. Still tastes just like a watermelon. <laughs> it's not bad though, y'all. I mean, it's not. It just tastes like a watermelon, and I don't like the flavor, the taste of watermelon. So, but. 
very good. I grew it. I taste tested it. Now I'm going to cut these all up. Um, put them in a container for... The, I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. And when the family come over, they can have them some watermelon that I grew from my garden. So, I'm excited. I'm happy. I did it, y'all. Give me a thumbs up for doing it and following through and even taste testing it. So, alright guys. Good luck to all the ones that are still growing those watermelons. Um, I'm going to link down below a channel. And she wasn't in Watermelon Wars. But guys, she was pulling out the big watermelons out of her garden. Hopefully next year, maybe she will uh, get into Watermelon Wars. And her channel name is Gardening with Lisa. She has some big watermelons come out of her garden. So, anyway, I'm going to link her channel down below. Go and check her out. I love watching her. Her garden videos are really inspiring. And, you know, she do a lot of taste testing over there as well. Alright, guys. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay guys, so I decided to go ahead and bring you back so I can try this honeydew. And again, I don't like honeydew, just like watermelon, just like cantaloupe. I'm not really, I don't like really like melon, so. But, I do want to taste test it again because it is from my garden. Now, I use the seeds from the honeydew I grew last year. Which I grew a lot of them last year. I was able to give people some. Um, only one this year came. <laughs> and I had used the seeds from last year to grow that one. So I'm going to use that seeds next year. Anyway, here's the honeydew. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Yep. It's like a honeydew. <laughs> if you like melons, you'll like it. I just don't know. I like strawberries. I like grapes. Stuff like that that's more sweeter. Melons just don't have a sweetness to me. So, anyway. There's the honeydew. Tastes like a honeydew. My kids... My grandbaby will love it. So, just want to bring y'all back and show that I did taste the honeydew that I got from the garden.